is it possible to do a free background check online with no charges in this video we're going to go over the methods that are available to the public to get this done so I'm on the website called sheriffsdepartment.net and if you come down here what you'll find is state and county and city level resources that you're able to utilize to actually do a free background check without any charges so for this example I'm gonna use the state of Arizona pretty much every state has a very similar process when it comes to doing this and some states will make it a little more difficult but overall it's very similar so let's uh, let's go to Arizona and what you'll find is you'll find a name search option here this is a nationwide check um, and if you scroll down a little bit lower you'll have the local state resources that are available to you I recommend doing both uh, this, the uh, nationwide name search is instant it's quick you can see exactly what's going on not everybody lives in the same state or have lived in the same state throughout their life people travel there's all sorts of paperwork trails that people and criminal record trails that people will have in various places throughout the country and counties so it's a good idea to get like a, a big picture look if you want to use that option if you're just looking for state and local resources scroll down a little bit lower and what you'll find is uh, common most sought after record types so you have court records criminal records is a big one depending on what the background check is for you might want to look at vehicle rec or um, driving records business lookup uh, uh, incarceration records sex offender registry these are all essential when it comes to doing a background check now when it comes to criminal records a lot of states will give you a statewide check um, and not all of them make it easy some of them will want the person that the background check is being done on sometimes they'll want a signature from them so it, it depending on what the background check is for it that could make it more complicated it's anonymous versus not anonymous um, situation here <clears throat> typically for employees it's perfect they can just go uh, straight through the state and uh, if uh, an individual wants to check their own records a lot of times this could be this background this type of background check can be done for free with no charges a lot of states do offer a self check type of a uh, they have that type of a product available uh, to the citizens of that state so if that's something you're interested in check it out a lot of states do have that option if this type of a background check is not possible <clears throat> your next best thing uh, would be to look at court records you you want to check the Department of Corrections these are prison records you want to check the sexual offender registry these are all essential when it comes to uh, doing background checks and uh, court records will uh, cover criminal cases and civil cases so if you know what databases you're looking at you can find individuals with criminal records using court records so I'm gonna go over how the court record uh, search is done so again I'm gonna stick to Arizona and I'm just gonna go over uh, the uh, how the the court system is set up so you have your lower courts and so sometimes people will find a database and they think that that's it that's the only database out there it's not always gonna work this way sometimes you have to check multiple databases so you have your city courts you have your superior court justice of peace and these will uh, work on different K, uh, court case types so one of them will do felonies civil records juvenile records evictions another one will do lower crimes uh, uh, limited civil uh, traffic things like that and whatever they don't settle in the lower courts they will push up to the upper courts so we have actually gathered information on what all the uh, court types are in each state and they're all, they're all kind of different they somewhat the names kind of vary from state to state but you we will give you if they have online access we'll give you that link and this is direct to the court so that this is about as good as it gets and then at times they might not have an online portal 
and what they will offer is uh, terminals. They actually have physical computers that you go to, like a courthouse, and you're able to sort search these records for free. So we we did the research. We figured out what who's doing what, and uh, we just pretty much laid it all out: different court types, different record types, and how you're able to actually search these records. So come check out. Uh, sheriffsdepartment.net and I'll drop a link in the description you can click on that or just type it into your browser and uh, thanks for listening today